Welcome back to the channel and in this video is another you draw I build where I asked my discord community to submit hand drawings that I'm going to attempt to replicate right here in scrap mechanic and we are starting this off by C death this is apparently an Easter bunny car and by the looks of it it's going to be using these weird piston leg things to I guess potentially hop or something it tells me what type of settings for the systems fast and short and uh, on a button press so let's see how this goes this thing has some weird bunny ears on it I don't know how I'm supposed to build those bunny ears like they don't they don't look like any pieces that actually exist in scrap mechanic so I'm going to start with the rest of it first then I'll see about the bunny ears later all right so here's the important part the legs oh i see why there's a controller on the back now i was confused why there was a controller underneath that button but it makes sense the controller is used to position the legs at the 45 degree angle which or at least it looks like a 45 degree angle to me so we have wood followed by piston followed by wood followed by piston followed by wood followed by suspension followed by wood and that makes up our bunny leg i don't know if you guys knew bunny anatomy very well but this is what goes into a bunny leg according to this drawing so now the pistons are on speed fast range short so you know what let me make this easy on myself and just uh copy and paste this thing so i don't gotta build this bunny leg the complex anatomy of the bunny leg. All right, so now I just got to attach my bunny legs. There we go. And let's set all of the angles to 45 degrees. All right, 45, 45, 45, 45. How's this looking? Uh, what? All right, it's not... Not quite looking that great right now. I think we're gonna need some weight balancing. Here, let's put a slab of concrete on the back. Is that enough? Okay. This is something. And uh, you know what? The bunny ears. The bunny ears. I don't know why the bunny ears are on the back of this thing. But, uh, oh, I need wedges on the front, too. I forgot wedges. Little tiny detail I almost overlooked. But this is what's going to make it uh, superior, more professional. All right. I don't know what you expected as far as bunny ears goes. But uh, this is what you're getting for bunny ears. There we go. That's a bunny ear. All right. Painting it pink just like the drawing. You know, those pink bunnies that uh, are so popular. Oh, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> it's already going. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Oh, wait, I haven't even hooked up the button yet. I think this button... Are you, hold, will you stop? I, what are you doing? How is this even... This physics isn't supposed to be applying yet. Okay, hook up the button to all the pistons. So now, I'm assuming when we push the button, we're gonna hop like a bunny. All right. Uh, You drew. I built. Here is uh, the Easter Bunny car. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. If I hold the button down, it does this, like, uh, vibration thing. Is that also supposed to be part of the functionality a little bit, maybe? All right. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Now we're... Okay, this isn't... <laughs> it's kind of working, but it's kind of not at the same time. I wonder... If the suspension settings actually make a difference at all. Uh, let's try this. Okay. So far? Nope. Okay, then nope. It's not really making a difference. All right, you know what? We need more stability. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna cut this in half, and I'm just gonna make it longer. And I'm gonna put it back together. I did not put this back together right at all. Nope. No, something... No, I did this wrong. <laughs> okay. I think it is ready again. Look at that stability. <laughs> just make it longer. Okay. Oh, do I, do I need sideways stability now? Do I really? I just want this thing to not tip over. All right, there we go. Sideways stability. I, I did the drawing. Now I'm just trying to get the function by changing everything. <laughs> okay, really? Really? Am I still going to flip over after all of this? Okay, let's just do a little bit. Of, oh, look at that. Okay, I guess maybe if I don't hold the button, we're actually kind of hopping like a bunny now. It's actually kind of working. I don't know why the ears are on the back. That still confuses me. I've just been following instructions, okay? Man, it really does not like it when I hold down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're stabling off a little bit. All right. Oh, and now... Okay, well, I don't know what it's doing. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, we've uh, we've kind of equalized into doing nothing anymore. Is this... 
Is this what you wanted? All right, we're moving from the bunny car to the hot dog dragster by Animal. And you know what? If there was ever going to be a car version of a hot dog, I really feel like dragster is probably the optimal one. It's just got the dimensions. It seems like kind of a fun game. What kind of car is your food? Name a food and then pick the best car to represent that type of food. All right, if a hot dog is a dragster, what's a hamburger? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, but we got to build a hot dog dragster now. Uh, so what is the actual... Actual, but the bun I'm gonna make out of this kind of wood. I'll make the hot dog itself out of plastic. Don't it it might don't eat this hot dog. Should I do the bun first or the or the uh, actual hot dog first? And I guess I can put a bun around the hot dog once I have the hot dog. Let's start with the hot dog. Oh uh, yeah, look at that hot dog. That's a nice hot dog. All right, I gotta also put uh, apparently a cockpit in here somehow. How am I gonna put a cockpit in here? Can I? I can't even fit a seat in here. Seats are like four wide. Oh my goodness, this seat takes up so much space. Don't worry, it, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. I don't think I'm gonna put a windshield on it, but it'll be fine. All right, don't worry. I did not neglect to see the mustard on this hot dog. I am gonna be putting some mustard on this hot dog as well. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that mustard. This actually is looking really nice so far. Hopefully the bun doesn't ruin it. Okay, so now I gotta put the bun on this thing. I don't know. I don't know if wood is the right texture what kind of texture maybe concrete texture yeah i think concrete it's gonna be heavy but it's gonna be it's gonna look more like a hot dog do we want your car to be appetizing or not i think we all know the answer to that question all right i got the bun on this thing i've added the front wheels with some steering i thought about putting suspension but i thought it was gonna make it a little bit too bulky so it might be a little bit of a bouncy dragster but uh, of course in the back we're definitely gonna want the bigger wheels wait where am i putting like the engine where does the hot dog engine go? You know what? I can actually, I can fit it in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure engines are two by two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Attach the engine to the seat. That might be a little bit too powerful. All right, so now all that's really left is the spoiler. So I don't really know what that spoiler looks like. The spoiler is made of like ketchup or something. I don't know what I'm going to do for the spoiler, but here, I'll start with uh, some of that. How about this? It hasn't looked too bad. Color red. And look at it. I think we got ourselves a hot dog dragster. Look at that speed, too. Uh-oh. Whoa. How's it drive? Oh, man. This thing drifts, too. I feel like it, it's almost a little bit... It's a little bit of a short hot dog, isn't it? I thought it made it longer, but uh, now that I put the wheels and everything on, it doesn't feel quite the right proportions for a dragster. But, hey, I built it. <laughs> Just gonna roll with what I built. Literally rolling with it. Whoa! All right, this is an acrobatic dragster as well, as you can see. You know, this thing actually drives a lot better than I was expecting. Sometimes it uh, it spins out involuntarily. Like, I don't I don't mean to, like, suddenly spin out. That's probably the lack of suspension. Uh, ow. Uh, wheelies are fun, too. Let's see how it handles a nice little jump here. Uh, hey, look at that. Not too bad. Doing everything dragsters are not designed for in this thing. It's because that's the hot dog element bringing it over. The dragster might not be designed to do this stuff, but uh, that's where the hot dog comes into play. This is what hot dogs were designed for. Acrobatics, jumps, off-roading, and drifting. All right, the next drawing is submitted by Okaj75. This is a perpetual motion spinner. And this is something I've actually seen before. Uh, obviously, the perpetual motion doesn't actually work in real life, but you can see all of these uh, rods that are attached to bearings and the arrow indicates that the rod will flip over uh, as the wheel spins in that direction. So I think the principle behind it is because the rods on the side that are flipping over, they're kind of like pulling the weight to the right side of the center of the wheel. Whereas the rods on the left side of the wheel, you can see are kind of hanging down. So that kind of brings the center of mass a little bit more to the right as well. And because the way all these rods are aligned, the center of mass should stay to the right of the center of the wheel, causing it to continually pivot around the, the wheel to the right side. That was probably a terrible way of trying to explain that, and it may even be completely wrong, but that is my understanding of it, whether it's right or wrong, and that's, uh, I'm gonna try to build it and see what happens. Now, perpetual motion is possible in scrap mechanic. Whether this is going to accomplish that, that's what we're gonna find out right now. But first thing I'm gonna need is a circle, and I think I'm gonna start with this one here, and then I need to attach a bunch of bearings to this thing. So, let's start with the four sides. I don't know, let's do... 
Oh, this is kind of, I mean, let's do this, I guess. So this is what? One, two, three times four, 12. And I think that is actually the same amount that the original drawing had too. Okay, so now to design the arms or the rods, I'm gonna go with something like this. And then I'm just gonna put a thing of concrete on the end of it as like a counterweight to make it uh, spin over. And you know what? I'm just realizing, nope, this, it cannot be designed like this. It actually has to uh, go over the wheel because it needs to be able to rest on the wheel as it spins over and that's gonna cause it to actually flip over. So if I do, if I extend it out from here, this should accomplish that. There we go. So I'm actually just gonna delete this so I can take this and copy and paste it 12 times. All right, now I just gotta start pasting it. Okay. I'll all rods have been placed. Now it is time to prop the wheel up and see if we can get it to spin without any input. I mean, I think we're gonna have to provide an initial input to get the uh, spinning started, but then we're supposed to be able to release that. Oh, that's not gonna work. We're supposed to be able to release that and uh, it should continue on its own. There we go. Oh, this looks like some kind of weird boss monster or something. All right, let's go ahead and attach the engine. Want it to spin in that direction. That is not the direction the arrows are pointing. Okay, here we go. Let's get it started. Hmm, I'm not liking what I'm seeing right now. Wait, what? why didn't that, why aren't these? Okay, yeah, not liking what I'm seeing right now. It doesn't seem like these are, look, that should be flopping down way before it does. I think I made a mistake with the rods. Ugh, I gotta reattach all the rods now. Yeah, I think I put this elbow a little bit too close. I should have had the elbow a little bit farther away, I guess. But well, let's see what happens in its current state. If I take it off, it's terrible. Yeah, it's absolutely terrible. Like right up there, I think the, the arm needs to be able to hang down uh, closer to the body of the circle. So I'm gonna redo this. All right, so here is the new arm design. So you can see there's a lot more space before it uh, goes over to where the circle plane is. So let's hope this helps with the uh, with how the arms flop and hopefully they won't get stuck this time around. Okay, here we go. The arms are back on uh, the new versions. So I'm hoping they're gonna be a lot, oh, they do look a lot more floppy, don't they? Oh, look at that. That looks way, way more natural. I don't know if it's gonna work as intended, but let's see what happens when we take the engine off. Here we go. Nope, no, this is not working at all. You know, let's uh, let's give it a faster start. Look at that, look, okay, this is a little weird. All right, now let's take the bearing off. Perpetual motion, look at that, it never stops. Okay, well, these got a little bit tangled up too. Uh, I got some bad news. Got some very bad news. Not sure the whole perpetual motion thing's gonna work out for us. Yeah. All right, well, you drew it, I built it. Unfortunately, we haven't uh, found any physics breaking discoveries, which is unusual for a scrap mechanic when you think about it. So uh, I, I, I don't know what to think about that. Okay, and up last by Chocolate Milk 69 or Queen Susie is super epic awesome suspension and in parentheses, it says, trust me, which you know, it's gonna be super epic awesome after that. I wasn't sure about this because I don't know if this has the dimensions needed for me to understand how to link all this stuff up. And then I thought, who cares? I'm just gonna, I, I have the drawing. I can just imitate what the drawing does. And if it doesn't work as intended, that's still interesting to me. I don't know how this suspension's intended to work. It's really complicated, but I'm just gonna follow this as close as I can. Uh, there's a lot of bearings and a lot of pipes and only the the suspension is really not that uh, It's not a big part of everything. I'm gonna be doing here But every single block and placement is pretty well laid out. So let's just let's just follow the drawing So we have a long T with uh, Looks like even blue for the plastic block here. Oh my what this is really this is real There's a lot of attention to detail even the seat is misaligned, it's not even centered on here because this is a uh, even width seat and an odd width uh, block that they've had me laid down. And that is included in the drawing and the engine is also one block off too, just like this. They made this drawing really easy to follow, thank you. I'm glad that you, you this is a person who plays the game for sure. I'm glad that they uh, took in the game uh, dimensions into account. 
So, based off of that then, I think that this back section is three blocks, and then this front section is five blocks. All right, and then by the looks of it, we have small suspension on the back, like this, and I might need to make this longer, actually. All right, it looks like the front seat should be one block behind uh, the front T. All right, now I think here we put the suspension on. Yeah, this looks like the right spacing. Okay, so then we have an elbow into a bearing into another elbow that then goes back in this direction. Oh, this is really weird. And then it looks like another elbow goes away from the suspension to another bearing. Then this goes into a T that go that points backwards. And then a bearing with double, looks like double big wheels in the back, maybe? Okay, so then I don't know what's going on back here with the suspension. So we got that, and then we got an elbow into a T that goes away. And then there's a bearing on this side of the T, and then it attaches back here. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to weld that. We're getting somewhere. This is all, everything is matching up so far when I'm following the drawings instructions. I'm like, there's no, there's no dead ends, which is a good sign. Okay, so now we have another bearing right here. There are so many bearings in this with an elbow and then a bearing. And that pretty much concludes this side. And I have to do the same exact thing over here and then link them in the back here. So I'm gonna do that same thing that I just did, but mirrored on this side now. Here we go. Okay, I think I've done it. Like, the thing I'm mainly worried about is I miss a single bearing and it ruins everything. How is this supposed to do? What are the purpose of like half of these bearings? I don't know, does this work? You know what? I'm gonna put this part off the lift. No way. Wait. Oh, I didn't weld it yet. I didn't weld it yet. Hold on. Things need to be connected in various places. All right, now. What? Okay. This is actually, there's something to this. I just didn't know if this was gonna move at all. This is actually kind of working. Hmm. All right, now for the front part. Okay, so now uh, we have an elbow and then we have a straight piece followed by a T. It's hard to sometimes estimate how many blocks each of these pieces are with this drawing, but I think I got this right. So then we have that and then there's another T off of this one. And then we have a bearing right here. How did, did you, is this an original suspension idea that you've created or is this based off of something else? Cause if you came up with this, this is like, this is so complicated. All right, and then another uh, elbow and then another bearing off of this one. The, the, the inner one is a large suspension. Okay. And then on the side here, we're just kind of going down with a couple of pipe pieces. And then right here, do I do the elbow? Followed by the bearing, followed by the other elbow. And then, oh, this is a, this is a, this was almost a difficult piece to read here, but I have to do the small pipe corner, I'm pretty sure, going like this. And then here is a steering bearing, followed by another bearing over here. So then I got a pipe piece, and then an elbow that goes into the suspension. This is insanity. All right, so then off of this, obviously this leads out to the wheel. This wheel is lower in the front than they are in the back. I hope that's okay. All right, so now I gotta kinda do the same thing over on the other side and then link them with a bar back here. Okay, I think everything's all connected. I'm gonna hook up the steering to the steering bearings and then the engine to the wheels. And let's see if we actually have, wait, does this, is this not working as intended? Oh, I did miss a weld point. I knew there was something that had to be wrong there. All right, these suspensions are doing weird things. Oh, there we go, look at this. I haven't like adjusted the stiffness yet. No, it doesn't say anything about stiffness settings. So I'm gonna have to try to find it myself. Here, let me uh, increase the speed of this though. My steering. Oh, the steering, what? Did you know this was gonna happen? The steering is completely absorbed by the suspension. Is that normal? I don't think that's supposed to happen. All right, let me stiffen this up a couple. Oh no, oh what? <laughs> I mean, I'm impressed that the suspension does actually compress and seem to react. I don't really understand wh how it was supposed to work, like what the intent was, but the steering is so messed up and the gas. The suspension is completely compressed, not necessarily 
by the bouncing of the terrain, but the actual input of the of the gas itself compresses the suspension. Look at look at where I switch directions. Look at this. Look at what the wheels do in the front. This is not right. This is not healthy. Okay, well, I'm gonna stiffen it up a lot more because maybe it's just the stiffness settings that are wrong. Oh my goodness. I mean, this does... Turning doesn't doesn't really work that well. This reminds me a little bit of like push rod suspension, but just wrong. <laughs> yeah, I hope I, I hope I built this right. Like, I feel like if I built it wrong, it wouldn't compress at all. The fact that it still compresses makes me feel like I did all of the uh, bearings and stuff right. I just don't know if they if they were aware that this was how it was gonna work. If was this a tested concept or not? Am I the test here? Am I the guinea pig for this suspension linkage? The back wheels actually look decent. Like I kind of like the back wheel concept. That's pretty good. Why change it up with this front wheel concept? All right, you know, out of curiosity, I'm gonna save what I have right now because this is what the drawing was but I want to try to just paste this back wheel concept onto the front and then add steering. And I just want to see how that feels in comparison. So now it's looking like this. See, this looks pretty cool. Um, but now I have to convert the front to also be steering ready. All right, there we go. Now we got steering up in the front and the same kind of suspension that we have in the back. And you know what? This kind of looks like it knows what it's doing a little bit, doesn't it? Look at this. This is, see, I like this. This is a more functional suspension. It actually kind of looks more natural. Here, let me uh, put it back down so it has more more room to flex. You know, it, there's actually some weird stuff happening. It can flex both in the down and the up uh, movement. Like, see, it's flexing and the wheels compress upwards. But now when I, like, when I apply the gas and stuff, it also flexes and pushes the wheels down, which is like the opposite of suspension. We're not supposed to be pushing our vehicle off the ground. We're supposed to be absorbing it into the ground. Like, look at it. Like, it's giving us a bounce. It's like literally the opposite of suspension. This is just, this is the weirdest suspension setup I've ever seen. Yeah, I just, I don't, un I don't know. I don't know how it was supposed to work, but this is how it's working in Scrap Mechanic. But it was a fun journey. That was definitely a fun journey experimenting with this weird, uh, with these weird linkages for the suspension. I am now going to assume that you came up with this on your own. <laughs> because if this is a real life suspension, uh, I don't know if it would have made it past the, uh, the, the testing phase. So, which one of these drawings was your favorite replication in Scrap Mechanic? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to be a part of future community-based, uh, videos like this, then make sure you join the Discord. There's a link in the description of all of my videos. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.